add some excitement to that spring wardrobe. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel to help you look like the very best version of yourself each and every day. Why? Why do we do that? Why do I care? Why do you care? Because when you look good, you feel good and that impacts everything in your life, both personally and professionally. And today I want to talk about spring. I want to talk about some really simple ways that you can add some freshness to your spring wardrobe. I want to show you 10 specific pieces that you can look at that really would infuse a little excitement. Most of these pieces are basics, but they're elevated basics. They're basics with a twist. Those are my favorite type of basics to buy. You still need those tried and true basics, but sometimes it's nice to mix things up and to add basics with a twist or an edge because you know that they're versatile, you know that you'll wear them, but they add a little something extra, a little something special. And so I'm gonna walk you through 10 basics that are elevated with twists. I think that these pieces will seamlessly integrate into your wardrobe, and I also think that they will add a little excitement to your wardrobe. Most of these pieces are on the affordable side, and I strategically did that. If they are expensive, there's a handbag or two that's expensive, I will put options and dupes for less below in the description box like I always do. This video is sponsored by Nordstrom, so huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this. I'm still, like, every time I get a Nordstrom collaboration, I still pinch myself because I love Nordstrom so much. You guys know that. <laughs> so it's just really exciting for me. So thank you to Nordstrom. And you guys, as always, just let me know if you have any questions. You can comment below. There are 10 pieces, 10 looks. So be sure to watch all the way to the end. All right, let's get started. The first piece I want to show you is a white jacket by Gibson from Nordstrom. And this jacket is your basic, it's a basic white jacket, basic white blazer. And I do think this is a piece that's really wonderful to have in your spring wardrobe. You can wear it over dresses, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with jean shorts. It really takes any look up a notch. And what I love in particular about this blazer, and you may recall this from a wear it three ways with this white blazer. I will put a link to that video below if you missed it, but I did do a wear it three ways with this exact white blazer. But what I love about this particular blazer is the length is great, especially if you're petite. So it is in that sweet spot, kind of that leg joint hemline where your leg meets your hip joint. It's also ponty knit, which means it's easier to care for. It has a bit more of a casual feel so you can dress it up or dress it down. And ponty knit also means my favorite thing in the whole world, no wrinkles, yay. So it travels really well. So maybe you're living in a sweltering hot climate and you're like, no way, can I wear that white blazer that's knit, haunting knit? But maybe you're traveling somewhere this summer. You know, like we used to live in Texas, but we would travel to Colorado in the summer. So it's like the perfect Colorado spring summer blazer. It's just a really versatile piece, but what gives it that little twist, I think is the neckline and the collar. It has a little bit of a triangle cutout at the collar, and I just love that detail. In addition to the fabric, it's really functional. That's a good word for it. It's a very functional fabric. And in this look, I paired the white blazer with a white bodysuit underneath, a pair of high-rise skinny jeans. These are by Levi's. You guys, Levi's, I didn't know this before, but Levi's is one of the companies that's really working toward becoming more eco-friendly. And they use a lot less water than most denim brands. They have saved 1.8 billion liters of water. So I just wanted to mention that because I think that's really awesome, like way to go Levi's. These are really modern jeans, skinny, more of that rigid denim. They do have some distressing at the knee. There are a ton of Levi's though. If you don't like the distressing at the knee, there are a bunch that don't have them. I think there's even a pair that's skinny that doesn't have distressing, but I'll link them below. And then these cute little mules by Topshop in a python print. And it's a really interesting python print because it has this sort of orangey, rich cognac brown color in it versus like a gr more of a gray python print. That was a really great color combination. And then finished off the look with a brown belt. This one's by Treasure and Bond, very affordable 
and I'll link that below. I also wanted to mention that if you wanted to opt for a white jacket that was a bit more elevated, higher quality, this white jacket I showed you by Gibson is great, but if you wanted to go up a, a couple more levels, there's an awesome one by Veronica Beard and it's white with a black collar. It's not this exact blazer that you see in this look. It's slightly modified from this one, but it's the basic concept and the jacket is beautiful. So I just wanted to let you know about that. This is sort of on another level in terms of quality and it's very chic. The next piece I wanted to share with you is the little white dress. Every single spring and summer, I am on the hunt for the little white dress. I feel like it's such a wonderful alternative to the little black dress and it feels so much more, I don't know, fresh, springy, um, light, breezy, happy. I just love to wear white dresses and I know you can't wear them to anybody else's wedding, but you can wear them all day long. I mean, you could wear them to lunches, you can wear them to parties, pool parties, vacation. There are a lot of places you can wear your little white dress, even work. And so I wanted to show you this button front dress that I think would be appropriate for the office. It's an interesting dress because the length is great. It's a great length for the office. The fabric is thicker and that's great too because what happens when you have a thin white dress is often it's see-through or you see all the lumps and bumps. So with this one being a bit thicker, you really don't. It really hides and masks everything. And I paired this with those same cute brown mules, but you could easily do a pump, you could easily do a sandal, you could easily do a ballet flat, whatever's comfortable, a sandal, a wedge, whatever's most comfortable for you. But I thought this dress was really sweet. And I wanted to also show you another white dress that I love. It's by Aster the Label, and it's very lightweight. It's the perfect sort of beachy dress. But I wanted to show it to you because not only is it beautiful, but it has length as well. And I think that's so hard to find. And sometimes, especially as we get older, we don't wanna wear super, super short dresses all the time. So I wanted to show you this one. It's by Astra the Label. Here's a picture of it. I think they only have like a size or two left. So I apologize for that, but I just wanted to mention it in case they restock it. This one's really lovely and beautiful for summer and spring, for spring and summer. The next basic I wanted to show you that would be perfect for spring is a pair of spring booties. These are in a beautiful sort of taupey beige color. They're suede and summer suede. They're by Treasure and Bond, so they're very affordable. They're under $100. They have a cone heel, which I think is a great modern detail. And this is a booty you could wear easily now and then transition and even wear into the summer. Booties are a must, and I feel like this kind of skin colored booty is just so wonderful with skirts and dresses. Sometimes you just don't wanna wear sandals. You wanna wear like a closed toe shoe. And so this is an awesome option for those summery dresses or those springy dresses when you really do wanna wear a closed toe shoe, but you also wanna be modern and fashion forward. Pairing booties with a dress is really fashion forward. You could also pair it with jeans, of course. Here I've paired it with just some white jeans, a pretty pastel peplum pink top, say that five times fast, and that white blazer again by Gibson. And you could wear the blazer or you could not wear the blazer. Either way, these booties are just so good and you, you guys will love them. They're so comfortable too. Definitely take a look at those. Next, I wanna talk about spring sandals. We all need a pair of spring sandals. And for me, the super flat ones that have absolutely no support are just not really an option. I really like to have some cushion and some arch support, and maybe you're like that too, I don't know. So the traditional flip-flop or the traditional super flat sandal just doesn't feel right to me. It's not comfortable to me. So here's an example of a pair that sort of had the look of the Birkenstocks, but slightly more elevated. They're just, in this beautiful brown tone. They do have that support and that cushion at the bottom. And I think this color is really neutral and really versatile and just such a great color for spring, summer. So I wanted to highlight those sandals. And then also another pair of sandals that I wanted to show you guys is a pair of wedges, because I like to have an everyday sandal and an everyday wedge. This wedge I actually already own. It's just in a different color. 
So I saw this print, it's more of like a skin color, but it looks sort of scaly like a snake, like a python. It's embossed to look like python. And I just thought it was a beautiful color as well, and it would be incredibly versatile and neutral. So I wanted to show you these, and I just paired those with some white jeans, a waffle tee from Socialite, it's very affordable, and a really cute knit hat. This knit hat, by the way, I'm like, I've never seen a knit hat before. So you can wad that up and no problem. You could travel with it, no problem. It's gonna bounce right back because it's knit, it's not straw. So that makes it kind of interesting that it's knit and you could travel with it. These wedges you could wear with skirts, you could wear with jeans, you could wear with jean shorts, you could wear with dresses. They're gonna be heavy hitters for you for sure and that ankle strap just keeps you feeling so secure in those wedges, which I love. The next category I wanna talk about is the white tee category. So my all-time favorite white tee for a basic basic, if you don't already have a good white tee basic, is the Madewell white tees. Talked about them a ton. I did a video last year on how to wear your white tee five ways. So if you missed that one, you may wanna go rewatch it. I'll put a link to it below. The elevated version of that, or the new fresh version of that, is this tee I found by Something Navy. Something Navy is an influencer, a really big time influencer that does collaborations with Nordstrom. This is part of her collaboration with Nordstrom. It's a white bodysuit with short sleeves, but what I love about it is first the neckline, secondly the sleeves that are puff sleeves. That's just an extra little detail. And then, you know, I've been kind of adverse to bodysuits because I felt like, ah, I don't want to deal with that. But this one's so great, I really love it, and I already have worn it a bunch, and I feel like it's one of those things, like I'll do the snaps for this one, <laughs> it's worth it. The only thing I'll say about this bodysuit is it fits me and I have a long torso for my height, but not a long torso in general. So if you have a super long torso, it's probably not gonna work, it'll be too short. But if you have an average or long for your petite frame, I think it's gonna be fine. And you're gonna get a sense of just how versatile this bodysuit is because you're gonna see it in like four looks. <laughs> be on the lookout for that. The next piece I wanna highlight and talk about is a pair of jeans by J Brand. They are called the J Brand Natasha Jeans. These jeans are so flattering and so wonderful and so good that I bought them already in two colors. You guys will buy them and you'll be like, wow, I see what she means. So basically you have the button fly up the inseam and then you have the button fly on the hips. And the button fly in the hips coupled with that high rise, high waist, coupled with the buttons on the inseam creates this beautiful hourglass shape that we all want. It creates curves. It gives you a waist if you don't have one because that's me. These jeans are amazing. And so I only have two, I would buy more, but because these are the only two crop pairs. The crop pair fit me like a regular pair of jeans. If you're taller, there's like a leather pair, a full leather pair, there's a blue pair, there's a white pair. I would go that route. But if you're petite, 5'4 and under, or 5'5, five five, maybe even 5'6, get the crop pair, it's perfect. And I paired these jeans with the bodysuit I just talked about, the white bodysuit and also some black Jimmy Choo pumps. These pumps, you, you guys have seen in a zillion videos, I wear them all the time. Obviously day to day, I can't really wear them here in Colorado, especially right now with snow, but if I could, I would. If I were back in Texas, I would wear them a lot more. They're just a beautiful, classic pump. Next, I wanna talk about spring handbags. I'm gonna share with you two of my favorite spring bags. One is new and the other one is not so new. The first one is the Chloe Nile bag in this white color. I can't remember the name of the color, but it's like a bone white. It's not quite bright white, it's an off white. This bag, I mean, I bought it a couple years ago and I have used it and used it and used it and used it. I use it on trips. Anywhere I go, I bring it because it's so small and the color is so neutral and versatile. I wear it here all the time because it's just big enough to to carry my essentials. I just love the way it looks. I love the versatility of it. I love the color. I love that you can do it cross body or you wear it as a clutch. And then the other bag that I really love right now that's newer is the Chloe Test bag. And that one is in this beautiful, gorgeous, deep, rich brown 
It's called sepia brown. There's a medium sized version and a small version. This is the medium size, but maybe you get the small version. I kind of wish I had gone with the small version now because I just don't need the extra space with the medium one. But this is another color that literally will go with everything. It looks so luxe and rich because it is. I will put some dupes for these. I saw one by Thacker ring bags and those are a great dupe for the Chloe bags. I also did do a blog post on Chloe dupes and I will put a link to that below in the description box for you guys to check out. So if you're interested in those bags, but not the price tag, then definitely check out that blog. And then I'm just wearing a yellow, a bright yellow sweater, actually the same sweater I'm wearing right now. I ordered it because I love yellow and I just thought it was like a sunny, happy color and I thought it would be so springy. I just like it so much, the color especially. Those same sandals I talked about before from Treasure and Bond and a pair of white skinny jeans. The next piece I wanna show you is an animal print midi skirt. This one is a silky skirt. It has a silky texture and the animal print is in these beautiful brown tones. I love this skirt. I love the length. It's so elegant, so classy, so sophisticated. But why I'm showing you this piece is kind of a wild card. It's not necessarily a basic. It's because I wanna talk about the importance of having an animal print piece in your wardrobe this spring. I didn't really talk about animal prints being a trend in the spring trends video, which by the way, if you missed, I'll put a link to that video below in the description box. But I didn't mention animal prints because I mentioned them last year. So it's not necessarily new. And frankly, it's always on trend, but it's still going so strong and you're seeing it everywhere across the board, shoes, accessories, belts, jackets, jeans, skirts. So I wanted to remind you all to make sure that in your spring wardrobe, you do add one piece that has an animal print. So this is an option this is by free people it runs very large it's just so elegant and sophisticated for work definitely for the office you could do this for a party it's a very unexpected stylish modern office outfit option and i just love it Next, let's talk about spring accessories. So there's the obvious like big statement earrings, feather earrings are fun. You could do layered necklaces, already been layered necklaces like this one that makes it so easy for you. You don't have to think about it. This one's really pretty. I'll put a link to this below. But the one that always makes the most impact, impacts the most punch for your wardrobe is a hat. So I wanted to mention that knit hat again. It's by Treasure and Bond. And then another hat that I love is by Halogen. And I talked about that one a lot last year and I will link that one as well. But I think, you know, considering a hat and adding that into the routine and into the wardrobe for the spring season, just to mix things up, just to add a little bit of interest and excitement, it really does kind of take a whole look up a level and I think that's really awesome it's got style power the last thing I want to mention to help you refresh your wardrobe this spring are sunglasses that is such an affordable easy way to add excitement to your wardrobe it's not going to break the bank you don't have to worry about if you've gained weight they always fit you you know what i mean so one of my favorite pairs and this pair has been around for a while but it's a pair of mirrored aviators by key it looks like quay but it's pronounced key and these are just i don't know they're so fun and they're so cool modern like literally you walk around in these sunglasses and no one has a clue how old you are <laughs> but you also look really modern and stylish and fashion forward. You can also play around with some of the tiny sunglasses that are really hot right now, like the specs. There's the like little tiny black ones and the little tiny white ones. Here's a pair I found that was, I think the BP line. I don't know, I'll put a link to it below. They're small and cool cat eye shape with this like cheetah print. It's not quite tortoiseshell, it's those colors, but it's more of like a cheetah print frame. And I thought they were really fun. Just something like that. Like one pair doesn't have to break the bank that will add a little excitement to your wardrobe. And sunglasses really do have that power too. Like they will take your whole look up a level. So definitely think about just stocking up on some affordable sunglasses that are modern and trendy and hip and now and cool. Because even if you're wearing a whole look full of basics, it will definitely bring that whole outfit up a notch.
One other bonus tip I wanted to share with you guys are sneakers. Now sneakers are definitely having a moment in fashion and we've been talking about them for a couple of years. Specifically white or metallic sneakers are doing really well for spring, summer. And I got this pair recently that is so awesome. I love that it has a platform. Ah, it's like, I always hesitate to wear sneakers because I feel like kind of stumpy wearing them. But now that I have a pair that has a platform, I'll wear them more because I feel like it'll elongate me more. So this pair I'll link below, it also comes in white. This pair is silver. They also come in a really great white with either perforated or not perforated. I'll put a few options below in the description box. And then this is just a really cute, casual, ruched tea dress. I love a great tea dress and then paired with a hat. So you guys let me know if you have any questions at all. If you found anything that you think is awesome, please email it to me. I love to hear your thoughts and suggestions because I can't possibly see everything. Huge thank you to Nordstrom again for sponsoring this video and huge thank you to all of you for watching. I'm so grateful for your time, for your attention. You've got a thousand things to do and the fact that you're spending 10 minutes with me, it just really means a lot to me and I'm incredibly grateful for your time and for your attention and your support, so thank you. You guys, if you want more outfit inspiration, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at there. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.